Well, hello again, everybody. Another gear review. Sticking in the uh, sticking to the winter camping, winter weather kind of uh, review. Hey, bud. Hi. You want to come up here? Yeah. Come on. What? Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the kisses, huh? You want to do your stuff now? Want to do your gear reviews? Yeah? Well, I can switch to your stuff. Is that what you want? Okay. Okay, I, I was going to do a... Um, <laughs> I was going to do a bag liner, but I think Boss wants to show his stuff off. So, here we go. Uh, this isn't going to be much of a gear review. Um... But I take Boss Winter Camping with me. He actually loves it. Um, and when I take him anywhere, obviously he's my priority to make sure he's comfortable and, and warm and alive. Not too cold and, you know, I want him to come everywhere with me. So, we got a few things we're going to wrap into this one. Um, one is mutlocks. So, these are the foot, the, uh, the shoes that I put on him in cold, cold weather. He doesn't like them um, unless they're necessary. He knows the difference between I don't want these, so get them off of me, or okay, I can deal with them because it's really cold on my feet. So for him, these are the extra large. And you can even see the price I paid for them there. $54.99. That's not too bad for, for these. Anyways, they have a reflective strap that you tighten around their ankle, I guess it would be. They've got a leather bottom, and then they've got like a rubber toe. Kind of a, it's, it's a leather, treated leather toe. It's not a raw leather like this. They use the raw leather on the bottom for traction. They use the, the treated leather on top for water protection. And then they have this long elastic kind of collar that goes up his leg. Um, and when you tighten this this strap around it, it ends up making a nice little boot. Anyways, there's not much I can say other than Canadian made, expensive, and worth every penny. Um, without these, Boss would not have been able to come winter camping with me last year. It was minus 40 Celsius, which is the same as Fahrenheit. So it was minus 40. And when you walked outside, it was that every step you took was a crisp, crunchy sound. You couldn't even have, like, uh, you couldn't have anything in your hands. It was so cold, you would not be able to have a beer without a glove on. Uh, it was just that cold. And if you took one sip of your beer, you know, around where your friends collect, it would have been frozen solid. So, um, he appreciated these when we went winter camping and his feet were fine, his feet were warm, um, at least they stayed dry and they weren't directly on ice basically. The other thing is if you're taking your dog winter camping, make sure they have a jacket. So I bought this for him last year. This is his sweater, this is his Christmas sweater. And it is thick wool. It's, uh, this I wanna say was probably $60 as well, something like that. It's just big enough for him, but that's good for wool to be, you know, fairly snug, uh, but not stretched. And uh, that's one of the options. This is actually his favorite option. He likes this sweater. When he puts it on, he, he knows he's getting warm and it does preserve the heat. Uh, so he, he gets it and he likes it. And the last is his jacket. He has a jacket. I bought him two, but he's outgrown the black one already, so all he's got is the, is, the, uh, is the red one. This is made by RC Pets. So, trying not to knock over my wine here, but um, RC Pets, it, again, it has reflective strips on it. So, it's got this massive Velcro neck piece. Four, four uh, or three strips of Velcro, and it's really good stuff. And then on the belly side, it has the same, just a little spaced apart. And this whole 
this whole side is Velcro, so you can put it on cockeyed. It's still gonna, it's still gonna wrap around them just fine. And there is quite a bit of flexibility with how big this is here and where this can can do up to. So if he gets really fat, it's still gonna fit. The point of that one is, the point of this gear review is if you're taking your dog winter camping, they get cold too. They get frozen feet too. Their ears get cold. Uh, their nose gets cold. Their, you know, their piss freezes all the same. Their urine freezes just as fast as ours. So um, it's important to make sure that, you know, if you're shooting, you've got ear protection. If you're winter camping, you've got warm clothes. Um, you know, it's it's the same for dogs. In fact, I'd consider my my boy to be one tough boy when it comes to winter and the cold weather. He just loves it. He loves rolling around in the snow, and he'll go outside for for a long duration at a time in our backyard, and he'll have no problem with it. Not all dogs are like that. You know, he doesn't have a thick coat of hair. He's got the short, coarse hair. He just has the tolerance for the cold because he's so big. Um, and he's used to it, right? He's uh, he's outside with me all the time. So he gets used to it. Not every dog is like that. So if you want to take your partner out, make sure you know their limitations and you protect them from uh, anything outside of that. All right, so that that was the, uh, the gear review for dog attire for winter. And uh, I wasn't going to do that one, but I guess Boss wanted to come and and add his two cents in. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.